I have cooked for these guys numerous of time. Today we're gonna twist the rolls. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be so much fun. Here are the rules. You must use sous vide. Okay. Do you have sous vide experience? Definitely not. Watching you, that's my experience. <laughs> Perfect, that's exactly what I wanted. You have three hours. That's a lot of time. Is that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, enough talking. Here's the mystery box. You ready? Okay. Let's go. Oh, okay. Is this nice. Wagyu? It's a Japanese Wagyu A5 Deco, also known as the cheapest Wagyu there is. This is a Wagyu Picanha, which is also a great piece of meat. Please don't mess that up. No promises, guys. I, I don't know what I'm doing, and this guy's gonna hand me some Wagyu. It is 10.03. By one o'clock, I wanna eat. Now, here's the most exciting part. If this video get 50,000 likes, one of the subscribers, one of you right there, will be coming over to cook against the champ. Wow, that's cool. You guys ready? Ready. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Hey, oh, let me eat. Let me eat. Let me eat. Okay, no friends no more. I see how you're gonna play this game. Bro, how you turn this on? This one has a button. Ain't no button right. Oh, there's a play button right there. <laughs> I'm feeling the picanhas and they still feel a bit frozen, so I'm just gonna give them another five minutes or so. Oh my God. I didn't set this circulator, so I hit play, and I guess the circulator temperature is at 140 degrees right now, so my steaks are already cooking. I might need to employ the help of a steak master here. So Leo, out of all my years of cooking sous vide, this has never happened before. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> my question is, how do I fix this? Because I see the, the steaks already started releasing some juices. So this is not that the steak is releasing juices. That is because the bag is ripped. So here's the deal. It seems like it's only been 30 minutes. It did not cook the steak all the way through. It might change the texture, but it's still raw. Okay, so I'm good. You're good. Never ever cook the steak on the packaging that it came with. Use something that it was made for sous vide or a BPA free Ziploc bag. I'm gonna go with a classic Guga seasoning, that being salt, pepper, garlic powder. Ah, oh, my old friend. I'm gonna actually look at the temperature. It is at 130, that's about what I want it to be. Put them in the water, fully submerge them. Yeah, I, this is not going as, as well as I had planned. Fully submerged, fully submerged. <laughs> I got it, woo! Let's go, I got it, all right. Guys, so with the side dish, what I'm planning on making, I'm gonna make a nice mashed potato with some bacon and have the Wagyu deco just layered on top. So the cheap Wagyu is nice and seasoned, now I'm just gonna season the steaks and get them ready. All right guys, now I'm gonna put the potatoes in the bag. More butter, more butter. Now I'm just gonna put some cream cheese in there. We're up to temperature, I'm just gonna put the steaks in. Now I'm just spreading this so that it'll get even heat once it's in there. Now I don't know if that works or not, but I'm just assuming it does. What? So let's get that in there. Cooking the potato and the steak at the same temperature in the same time is a no-no. Just basically gonna be raw. All right, now I'm pretty sure that the potatoes are not gonna be done. Eh, that thing's still hard. And I hope it doesn't cheat. <laughs> Here's what I'll do, I'll just boil some water and I'll just leave it in there. I'll put this over here. That looks interesting, doesn't it? All right, now to season it, I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt right now. We always do steak and potatoes the normal way, roasted potatoes, mashed potatoes, uh, this potato, that potato. No, I don't wanna do that. We've had too many of the same stuff. What I wanna do is I wanna go a very creative way. My idea is to make fondant potatoes. Is it obvious that I don't know what I'm doing? I'm gonna go ahead and get a pot of water ready because this is gonna be for my second side dish, which is gonna be a pasta salad. I'm gonna go ahead and cook my bacon now so I can get it nice and crispy. All right, guys, my bacon is looking exactly the way I want it to. It's crispy. What kind of color of bacon is that? I'm gonna go in with my spam. This is exactly, exactly what I want. These are done, I'm gonna take them out. I'm gonna put my potatoes down, go in with my thyme, go in with my onions. Potatoes are looking good, time to throw them in the oven. Let's go. As you guys can see, the potatoes look really nice. I put onions in here, burnt to shit. I cannot say anything because I'm a judge, but... Uh... Interesting, my pasta salad is nice and ready. Now I'm just gonna add the Spam, and I'm gonna add the bacon. So my plan is to get these nice and seared up, and then let the inside cook slowly. All right, it's pretty much ready, so I'm just gonna remove it from the pan, so I can start with the next one. I'm just gonna open up these steaks. We're gonna put it here. We're gonna let the juices get all over it. I guess it's really hot. I think that'll do. I'm not with it. 
if this ever happens to you, just get something that can cover it. Just cover it up, everybody. Guga said he was a judge, so you know what? I'm gonna use his favorite ingredient, gochujang. And I'm gonna make a nice gochujang compound butter. So I'm just gonna get a nice sear on these steaks, and then I'm gonna throw the compound butter on top, melt that over the top. It's gonna be delicious, and it's gonna be awesome. I'm just gonna add my shallots. Now to spice it up, I'm gonna add a little bit of blues hog, because I'm gonna add this to my steaks. You know, considering these steaks were actually pre-cooked, I consider this as a win. Now to cut up the steaks, let's see how I did. And there you have a nice, perfect medium rare. Let me know in the comments down below right now, who do you think is gonna win? Because this is looking insane. All right, everybody, here we have the finale and we have the two judges with me. We got Mr. 2K and Mr. David. So this is a little competition, okay? We got some new YouTubers coming in and they competed. So all I wanna know is first, which presentation do you guys like best? I think presentation-wise so far, I might have to go with this one. I think I have to go with this one as well. Now, number two. Creativity. Creativity-wise, I think this one takes the cake. I'll say I'll probably have to agree with that. This one, you know, it looks a little bit more homey, a little bit more homemade. But on that side, you have the, the nice little fond potatoes, and I always like pasta. So you guys saying this guy won for creativity? I think so. But in the end, everybody, I always say it does not matter what it looks like. It's all about the taste. I say we go for the queen first, okay? So this side. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, not bad. I feel a strong crust on that one. There's another little flavor there too. I can't tell what it is, mm -hmm. but it's a nice flavor. It adds a little bit to the steak. I enjoy it. I'll say it's a little light on the salt. Yeah. I would expect it to be a little bit more salty. Yeah, it is missing a little bit of seasoning there, but it tastes nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try this guy. Let's give it a try. Enough talking. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Off the bat, way more tender. Yeah. That one still, still is, that has that. That you, um, you had, you had much more tenderness to it. I will say though, this one had, I don't know if it's a compound butter or something on top, adds a little bit of sweetness, extra flavor. But I think overall, that one might be a better steak in my opinion. I think uh, I have to agree with that one. That one has a little bit more char, a lot more tender. Yeah. And the, the steak flavor just pulls way more through than the other one. This one got the picanha point, everybody. How about we try some side dishes, yeah? So yeah, this yeah. guy has a double side dish. This guy have only one side. This. Let's dig in. First, the potatoes. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Those are perfect. Beautiful little crust on the bottom. Beautiful flavor. I can't say anything else. These are perfect. I've made fondant potatoes before, and the fact that this guy here made it, wow. I'm impressed. Okay, let's go for this for the pasta. Gotta go with these little mysterious meat bits. Ah, Mystery I, meat. I think it's spam. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. If that is spam, it adds such a nice flavor to the pasta. I agree. If it wasn't for that spam, I would say that was a little also light on the salt. Yeah. But that spam just completely makes up for it. Very nice. Time for the second one. Can't go wrong with steak and potatoes. Give it a try right now. Mashed potatoes. Cheers. Cheers. Not a fan. <laughs> Not a fan. <laughs> They're a little clumpy and they have a weird off flavor, like too milky. The only thing it has is milk and potatoes. That's what it tastes like, milk and potatoes. <laughs> I like mashed potatoes, then you just <laughs> that up. <laughs> <laughs> this person right here got the side dishes, everybody. Very good, it's time for the Wagyu beef. Oh man, it touched the potatoes. Oh, oh no. Oh, David. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Cheers. As fatty as you can expect. I don't know what it is, but steaks on this side, so far they've been a little under seasoned. I feel like it's still a little bit under medium rare, leaning more towards rare. It is rare. But it's not bad so far. It's uh, very fatty, so to cut through that fat, I think you need just a little bit more seasoning, a little bit more crust. Whenever you season a steak sous vide, just for you guys all know out there, you gotta do a little bit extra heavy. Because if you don't, a lot of the seasoning when you're cooking it and it's brining in its own bag and juices, you will lose it. This guy had no idea, apparently. Let's go this one, yeah? Let's do okay, it. Let's uh, do it. This, this one went a little crazy. Look at this one. It was on a mashed potato cake, oh, apparently. Oh, man, he put mashed potato on the it bottom. Mashed potatoes, everything. <laughs> I'm gonna take from the top. Enough talking, let's give it a go. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. 
Mm. Seasoning is key. You gotta season it properly, everybody. That's oh. number one. Because as soon as I take a bite, I can feel that it's beef, even though it tastes like sweet. This one tastes a little bit like Burger King to me. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> David, that's Wagyu, my bro. That, if uh, your Wagyu tastes like Burger King, that's not a good thing, everybody. I don't know. <laughs> Even though it is a little tough to cut, it's not as hard to chew through and everything as this one was. Caramelized onion, the little sauce that they put on it adds a little bit of flavor. And the best part about it is that it's seasoned properly compared to this one. Is it unanimous again? Does this guy won? I think the seasoning saved that one. I think that one's winning so far, too. And by the way, this is Leo versus Angel. Ah. Leo, you salty savage. Salt your steak. That's the only reason you lost. But this was a great competition. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If this video gets 50,000 likes, we're gonna invite one of you subscribers over there that put a comment on this video to come on over and compete against Angel. Ooh, uh -huh. okay, Angel. Give him some competition. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.